Creating a Better Planet for Us All. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 218. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 218, May 28, 2017 edition. Let's talk about creating a better planet for us all. Seems like such a great idea, right? You would imagine that as a species, this would be something that we're focused on, but it appears that as a species, we are not. And so one community is a group of people that have come together, a 100% volunteer group that has come together with this goal. And everything that you see happening here in the background on the screen is what it is that we're creating. And our goal is to open source and free share everything that it is that you see with the goal to create self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs purposed for creating a better planet for us all. And we believe that the key to this since altruism has not accomplished it, has not accomplished a planet that works for everybody yet, since uh, do-gooders and people that are interested in creating a better world for, our, for us all, like ourselves, people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, did not appear to be able to accomplish this on our own yet. And so we are creating a model that is designed to accomplish the same goal through selfishness. Really, by providing something that people want that provides more of the things that they want in a way that's easy to accomplish and creates a better way of living than the way that's living right now. And so we believe that if we create this with the consciousness for the highest good of all, if we create this on sustainable and self-sufficient energy and housing infrastructure and food infrastructure, which is really the only way that it can actually succeed, if we build an open source and free shared, easily replicable model, and make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough that people want it. And we open source and free share it so that they can create it. We believe that selfishness will accomplish everything that it is that you see happening in the background all over the world. So our goal is to bring together the people that believe that creating a better planet for us all is something worth working towards. Or working towards. People that would like to dedicate their lives to that goal. Just creating a better planet for us all and open source and free share it, invite people to come and experience everything that is one community. And if they love what they see, everything that is that we're designing to open source and free share it so that they can replicate it for themselves. And because it's built on sustainable energy infrastructure, housing infrastructure, food infrastructure, highest good education, highest good economic models, and specifically as an ecotourism destination that will thrive and do better and better, create more and more abundance, the more you share it, the model is specifically designed to spread virally. Not because people want to create a better world, planet for us all, better world for us all, but because it'll specifically provide a way of living that is better than the way they're living right now. More free time, more things to do with their free time, more time with their friends and family, more like-minded people coming together to live together with common purpose and sharing it like a bed and breakfast, but a complete community so that everybody that lives within the community doesn't have to work outside of the community. They can if they want to. It's certainly designed so that's possible. And people can replicate anything and everything that we're doing as individual components. So if somebody just wants to build themselves an earth bag home or a straw bale home or a cob home, that's great. Those are sustainable, super eco-conscientious ways to build that are very, very affordable and very, very durable if you know how to do it. And so our goal is to teach people how to do that. But if people would like to take it to the next level, if they'd like to help create a better planet for everybody, if they'd like to see a world that truly works for everybody and want to participate in that, one community is here to lead that charge, to lead that endeavor, and to work with those groups and organizations as we open source and free share everything that we do. And if they are willing, if you are willing, if whoever it is, is willing to also open source and free share their blueprints, tools, tutorials, and everything that they create, we will work directly with them and help them. If somebody just wants to build it for themselves, 
that's great too. We're here to answer those questions and create those open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources as well. Answering them in an open source and free shared globally accessible format. But for people that want to help us open source, for people that want to help us free share, for people who want to be a part of the world change process, not just doing it for themselves, we'll work directly with those people hands on because they'll be creating more open source content as well, adding to the big open source collaborative we're creating and helping create everything you see happening in the background, working together and demonstrating that cooperation and collaboration works better than competition and building a model of living that sets people free. Everything that you see here on the screen is about setting people free. It's about empowering people to be able to build their own homes, to grow their own food, to produce their own energy so that they're not dependent on anyone else for it, to be able to run their own education programs and to create community models that operate education models that are superior to what's out there already, giving people choices so they can take what they want, leave what they don't want, evolve it and make it better if they've got ideas and ways to do that and open sourcing and free sharing it all as the foundation for that. This is how we are creating world change. Everybody's invited to participate. So with that said, let's jump into the weekly progress updates. Here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week as a summary. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, updated the complete Earthbag Village open source hub with new images and an easier to follow structure. You can see some snapshots of this work here. The core team also continued updating and revising the Earthbag Village open source AutoCAD files making them clearer and easier to read. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her 15th week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week's focus was beginning to create a parts list, final cost analysis, and the final presentation you see here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 70 of Dean's work that continued developing the lighting and texture details for renders of the Northwest Residential Wing, as shown here. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 42nd week helping with the compressed earth block village Pod 4 design and render details. This week's focus was continued work on the landscaping elevation and layout details around the meditation labyrinth, as shown here. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 25th week of work focusing on further 3D visualizations and development of Zone 9 exercise spaces, raised planters, climbing bridges, and seating areas, as shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team created these detailed AutoCAD drawings for inclusion in the City Center Footers Foundation and Flooring Tutorial. And we created and added this new render image for the Duplicle City Center Dining Dome kitchen area to the site. Render updates included placing structural columns, adjusting lights, updating the texture of the floor, and the colors of the dome. We also continued refining the City Center Control and Automation Systems Overview image for the online book. You can see one of our brainstorming images and the polished version of this new layout here. Hayes Lay, Structural Engineer, and Shuna Nee, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, now joined by Arvind Vasudevan, BA in Mechanical Engineering, also continued their work on the City Center Structural Engineering. This week's focus was more research and modeling for the central dome connectors, additional wind calculations, and updating the Structural Engineering Master File. Rami Avudi, Electrical Engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, Electrical Engineer, continued their work on the City Center energy details with Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant. This week's focus was more content for the tutorials and discussion and further development of the layout details shown here. 
Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, also completed her 14th week working on the City Center Footers Foundation and Flooring tutorial. This week's focus was writing content for the workflow section, some of which you can see in these behind the scenes screenshots. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team created two additional new images for the Sustainable Food Nutrition's Calculations page and one additional image for the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan page, as you see here. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner-teacher collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team completed the final 75% of the mind map for the contribution lesson plan and the final 50% of the mind map for the Cosmos lesson plan, as you can see here. This completes all 52 mind maps, one for each of our 52 lesson plans. And we continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the work lesson plan and the beliefs lesson plan. This brings us to 22 of 52 finished, which is approximately 42% completion. We also began working on the renders for the Ultimate Classroom Projection Dome feature. This included learning how to map photo textures to curved surfaces by watching the Google SketchUp for Dummies video created by Aidan Chopra and applying what we learned to place a projected image for the Ultimate Classroom Dome ceiling, as shown here. And the core team updated the Ultimate Classroom with new render positions, as you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments, creating a better world for us all. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, we do have an email list and you can subscribe to it by sending an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to that newsletter list and send you an email every week when these come out. Also, uh, if you'd like to uh, join our team, get involved, participate in whatever way works best for you. There's ways that everybody can help out and participate on our helping page on the website. So check that out as well. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. Uh, you can follow our progress also by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on social media. We're on all the different social media networks. Uh, but most importantly, Thanks for watching to the end. Thanks for following our progress. Thank you for the emails that we get, the comments that we get, the shares that we get. Thank you for the donations. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. So those donations help us cover our expenses. And uh, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks.